there, join me for this quick resistance tubing workout that will work every muscle in your body, including those abs of yours. Now heads up, we are starting this with a mini Tabata using a booty band. So if you don't own a booty band, don't worry about it. I'll show you how you can do the two exercises without one. All right, awesome. So grab your resistance tubing and a booty band if you have one, and let's go get warmed up. Hello there, hey, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and I help women over the age of 40 reclaim the tush of their 20s. And a few good men as well. <laughs> if, you, if you're over 40 and you would like to continue the workout fun, click that subscribe button. All right, we need to get ourselves warmed up and then we are jumping right into our mini Tabata that I referred to and then right into our total body strength using the tubing. You ready? Awesome. Let's start with a hip drill here. Bring that leg up and big circle for me. Perfect. We have six of these warming deep into the hip joint with this. Last two. One more. All right, same leg. Bend at the knee, bend this other knee, and now fire hydrants working into our hip stabilizers, our glute med. So focus your stare on something stationary so that you can hold that balance. If you're still all over the place, grab onto something. But you should be feeling the outer hip in both the stabilizing side and the working side. Last two. And other side, here we go. So let's start with those circles. I hope you're having a great day. Um, this workout you could take outside too, so maybe you are outside in the sunshine, getting your sweat on. Last two. All right, stabilizing knee is soft and bent. Other leg is bent completely. Lift up, fire hydrant drill. Perfect, again, getting those hips warmed up and the stabilizers ready for all of the moves we're doing. Two more, last one, excellent. All right, hip extension, tap back, leg is straight, arms come up, elbows past the ears. Now, if lunges are okay for your knees, I want you to change this hip extension into a full lunge pattern. Front knee lines up with that ankle, perfect. Back knee, back knee coming as low as it feels good for your knee joints. Or you stay with the hip extension. Four more, three, two, one. Excellent, side lunge. You know I love my side lunges. Let's do eight a side. Here we go, step out. See if you can get your toe, hand to the toe. Bum pushes rearward. This leg bends, knee tracking with the toe. This leg straight. Good. And once again, taking it as deep as it feels good for your knees. Some days are better than others, right? Yeah, I totally understand. <laughs> Last two. One more, excellent, other side, let's do this. After this, we'll start the workout. Three more. One, actually I lied, let's get into the shoulders a bit. <laughs> big arm circles for me, good. Make them big. We're going backwards so that we open up the shoulder joint a bit more as opposed to forwards, which we have this internal rotation happening, which we're trying to avoid actually. We're trying to get the shoulders to open, the pec muscles to spread. Nice. Make them big, make them count. Last three, two, one. All right, now we'll get busy. So as mentioned, we're starting with the Tabata. I want you to get your booty band, if you own one, around the calves. Okay, so stepping it in around the calves. So we have two different moves. 
I'm going to show you the low impact version without a booty band just above me. So if you own a booty band and want to do the low impact version, it looks exactly the same. Alternating between a jumping jack and then we'll bring the booty band up around the quads to high knees. Yeah? Perfect. All right. So around the calves. Now big cue here. Okay, please. Please remember this. The booty band is going to want to pull your knees in. You are going to use your glute med to make sure they track with the toes. Deal? Good. God, I love you. Well done. All right, ready? Round one of eight. What? Don't worry about it. Let's go. <laughs> now add the arms. Good. So high or low impact, booty band, no booty band, your choice. Just keep moving. Time. All right. If you own the booty band, we want it up to the knee, up to, on the quads, past the knees. We have high knees, lower high impact, low impacts showing up there. Go. This is where this type of booty band, not the cloth, will roll up. So have your legs apart a bit and the booty band a little lower. I find it doesn't slide and roll up as much if you're using the latex like I am. Time. Okay, those are our two moves. Here we go. Booty band back, calves. High or low impact jumping jack. Ready, set, go. Add those arms. Woo, you feel those hips? Hello. Time. All right. Tubing. Just above the knees on the quads. Again, if you've got latex with me, you want to go a little wider with the legs. Up. Good. Lean back. Knees up. Pump those arms. Yes. Here it goes. There goes my booty band time. All right. If you have the cloth one, much better. I don't know why I didn't grab the cloth one. I have like 40 million booty bands. Go. It's okay. We're in it. We're in it to win it. So we're halfway through this Tabata. And then we'll move on with our resistance tubing with the handles. Woo. Come on. Time. High knees, here we go. Keep those feet moving in between those moves. Go. Again, lean back a bit with this high knees. Pump those arms. Working quads, hips. Time. All right, one more of each, and then we get into the strength. Whew, I have dog hair all over me. I don't know how that happened. I just put these pants on. Go. <laughs> Do you own a dog? Same thing. <laughs> LH and I were wondering earlier today, actually, how much dog hair we inhale in a day. I know. <laughs> Time. Woo. Okay, ready? Here we go. But I would rather that than not have a dog. <laughs> go. Oh, yeah. Come on, you guys. Yes. Oh, I'm going so fast. My booty band's all over the place. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> Woo. Halfway. Let's go. Let's go. Time, yes. All right, so if you have a latex band, maybe you're like me and you learned a valuable lesson. They kind of suck for high knees. <laughs> okay, grab a sip of water if you need it. Just keep those feet moving. Listen, I'm changing up the time. We're going a little longer for our strength moves. Only 10 seconds though in between our moves. All right, 
Why? Because I still want a little bit of cardio output. I still want to keep the heart rate going and keep the muscles stimulated. So we'll be in constant tension. Tubing. Left foot, lunge and curl. All right, back leg back. You're gonna bend that back leg as comfortable as it feels for you, and then bicep curl. Ready? No? What the heck you been doing? Come on, get your act together. <laughs> All right, ready, set? There you go, now you're ready. <laughs> that would be so funny if you weren't ready and you're like, holy cow, how did she know? <laughs> She doesn't know. <laughs> She's just entertaining herself <laughs> with my random stream of consciousness. <sighs> now, here's the scoop. When the timer goes, all right, we are not changing a thing. We keep this tubing underneath this front foot. Keep going. I got to turn myself around because you're going to know why once we get going. <sighs> So my tubing doesn't re so give me a lot of resistance on the lunge part, but it definitely is on the bicep curl. Elbows stay underneath the shoulders, time. All right, now, keep the tubing under that left foot. Grab onto it with your left hand. Step out for a side lunge. Good, now side lateral raise, shoulder height only. Good. Now, if you find the side lateral raise isn't hard enough, step on more of your tubing. Too hard, let some tubing out. So two rounds of these. Same side, same arm, same leg, same everything, and then we'll do the other side. I really do love side lunges, don't I? I do them a lot, and for a reason. <laughs> there is a good reason. Whew. We're working the outer hip. We're getting our body out of that linear pathway we tend to stay in all day, which is really good for the hips. Time, all right. Keep the tubing under that foot. Grab the other handle. Step back with that leg again. Okay, so last set, lunge and curl, go. Elbows stay under the shoulders when you do the curl. Wrists stay fairly straight and then they'll curl a bit as you curl your hands up towards the shoulders. So don't let them break backwards. Woo, legs are burning. Time, all right, tubing stays, left foot. Left hand grabs the tubing. I'm stepping on a bit more of my tubing just to give myself a bit more resistance for my lateral raise. Now step out, feet together, lift up, arms bent, but I'm leading with the elbow slightly, keeping the wrist straight. So the tubing's really gonna wanna break the wrist. Last time here, and then we've got 10 seconds to get ourselves set up for the other side, lunge and curl. I know, your biceps aren't gonna get a rest, are they? <laughs> nope. Time, all right, so. I'm gonna step on it with my right foot. You're doing the same. Feet are hip width apart and then step back a good stride. Lunge, palms facing me and curl. Now if you find your back calf cramps during the lunges, I just had somebody ask me this and it's quite interesting. It does happen with a lot of people and it's because the calf is isometrically contracted right now. So it's fired up. So you could place your back foot on something a little higher. That might help. Okay. Oh. 
Time. All right, let go of the tubing with the left hand. We want the right hand to have it. Stepping out, side lunge. Ready? Side lunge. Feet together. Good, that right arm now comes up. So you won't be mirroring me. My apologies. So the great news with tubing is 20 years ago when I was working with resistance tubing, there wasn't a lot of research and they were saying, don't use resistance tubing if you're looking to build bone density. So for instance, if you've been diagnosed with osteoporosis. So that's what we used to teach people. And even some of my earlier workouts, I've said that. Anyways, there's now newer research saying that yes, tubing does stimulate bone growth, just like other weight bearing activities, time. So that's pretty cool. All right, lunge and curl. So step back with that left leg. Palms facing me, lunge down as low as it feels comfortable for you, and curl. The other really cool thing about tubing is it's a lot of core work without you even recognizing it. So you're really having to use the oblique, your deep transverse muscle to help stabilize you while you pull the tubing. And the tubing actually is literally trying to pull you, right? And you're rooting yourself and it starts with the core. And as I mentioned, you might not even really feel it, but it's working. Trainer's promise. Time, all right. So we want the, um, oh no, my mat is crooked. Oh, not good. <laughs> Tubing in the right hand. Here we go. Step out with that left side lunge. If this is your first workout with me. I'm a little OCD. <laughs> I have to have things just tickety boo in my little world. And that includes a straight mat. <sighs> oh my goodness. You feel that in the shoulder? Woo, baby. And then as we're lifting, keep going. As we're lifting, your opposite side oblique is so fired up right now. I know, I'm geeking out. <laughs> but physiologically, this is really cool. <laughs> You're like, yeah, whatever. Let's just get this over with. <laughs> Time. Squat. I want you to stand on the tube. Feet hip width apart, equal amount on tube of each side. Yeah, perfect. Bring the tube up to the shoulders, push your bum rear, squat. Good. So you have a narrow stance, working a little bit more into the quadricep. Toes, knees, hips, shoulders, all squared to me. Yes, the tubing is digging into my arms too, but it's not gonna kill us, so we will just suck it up. Now, if this is too much, you can bring the tubing here to the hips, okay? There's always options, you guys. Stopping is even an option, as long as you're marching on the spot and you join me right, off, right away, <laughs> as soon as you've recovered. <laughs> Leaving is not an option. <laughs> Time, all right, now take the tube, cross it. Okay, upright row, training into shoulders and back muscles. Pull up, squeeze the shoulder blades, good. So your wrists are gonna break a bit, but not much. When you pull up, your hands are shoulder height or lower. They won't go much higher. This is gonna burn, I can tell already. So those are our two moves, okay? Go back to squat when the timer goes. Woo. This is great posture move, really good posture move. Maybe that's why this is burning so much. I'm chained to my computer desk too much. I need some more posture work. Time, all right, so uncross the tubing. Okay, back to the squat. Your hands can be here if you'd like, or bring them up. Ready, set, go. Remember, take a peek. Toes, knees, hips, shoulders squared to me. Head up, chest up. Good. Bums pushing rearward, like you're trying to sit in a chair, or you're trying to find a chair. 
You know there's one back there? Where is it? Push your bum, seek it out. Yeah. <laughs> That's literally how you teach a squat. <laughs> my feet a little closer together because that's going to give me more tubing to work with and make it just a tad easier. Cross the tube and pull up. Now knees are soft so I'm not locked out in the knee joint so that I can really stabilize and root myself in the ground as my arms and shoulders do the work. So again, more core without you even knowing it. I know! You're welcome. <laughs> So I'm changing the timer to 30 seconds after this. We've got a core move, shoulder and tricep move to do each side, and then you're done. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, I know. Whew. Time. All right, grab water if you need it. Let me stop the timer. Now let's change it to 30. Okay, crew. Now we want to step on the tube. All right, with that left foot and have the feet apart and then that right leg is staggered back behind you a bit. Now you may want to step on a bit more tube so that you have less here. From this position, we are pulling up for a wood chop. So you might need to do a couple to get the right amount of resistance with your tubing. This is a oblique core movement. So I want you to try to keep from the hips down fairly quiet. So we're not rotating through the knee. So take a peek again. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, this is also a really great core exercise if you, for instance, have osteoporosis and like crossovers, traditional core oblique move doesn't work for you because you shouldn't be flexing the spine. Now you can do this. I know. All right, so tubing under your left foot. Again, you're not mirroring me. Both hands on the handles, knees are soft. Arms are straight, and you're just drawing a half of a letter X. Now you will twist a bit in the hips. And again, you want that other leg step back a bit, otherwise the tube's gonna hit it with every rep. Now when the timer goes, we're staying right here to work into the shoulder and tricep on your left arm. Time, all right. So you might want a bit more tube to work with. Bring that left arm up, okay? And shoulder press straight up. Now if you have shoulder issues and pressing above the shoulder doesn't work for you, elbow in and just do a little bit of external rotation. So you're going to lead with the thumb and push that thumb behind you. It's not like the most ideal external rotation movement. I would rather you have the tubing over here or you on your side, yada, yada, yada. But it's, it's something that you can quickly sub in if presses don't work for your shoulder, okay? Time. All right, so we've got that series to do one more time. So both hands on your handle. Step this back leg apart and then behind you slightly. Soften the knees and twist. Arms are staying fairly straight. You're gonna feel the shoulder here, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> okay. You're like, yeah, roger that, PJ. Uh, thank you, Miss Obvious. All right, now shoulder press or lead with the thumb, external rotation. I'm gonna give myself a bit more tube to play with because my shoulders are getting tired. Now knees are soft, slow and controlled movements here. This is the last one, and then we're gonna do the other side, and you are done after that. Whew. 
Oh my goodness me. All right, so let's get the tube under the other foot. Now our left leg is going to step out wide and back. Both hands on the tube. Twist. Make that half an X on this side. So we're finishing that letter X. Knees are bent. Great job. Okay, so again, you might want some more tube to work with because this is tough, isn't it? I, it's tough, I'm with you. So external rotation or press. Knees are soft, abs engaged. There is a lot of core here. We have to root ourselves. We can't let the tubing pull ourselves to this side of the body. Nice. Now I did mention triceps on this. You might just be feeling the shoulder like I am, but don't worry, the back of the arm is assisting time with this. All right, here we go. Last wood chop. So step this leg back and apart. Both hands on your tube, bend the knees a bit, and make that half a letter X. And yes, you're gonna rotate a bit, but you wanna feel the waist muscles, especially when the arms are right there, right up high. Time, woo! All right, right arm. So you can externally rotate or arm up with me. Knees are bent and now I have my heels lined up. Slow and controlled. did it. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We're going to do a few stretches and then you can continue on with your day. Okay, let's start with stretching the shoulder. <laughs> All right. Left arm across, thumb up, press in. Woo, stretch out that shoulder. Nice. Upper back area. Take that same hand, place it behind the neck or in between the shoulder blades if you're able to, and then lean away, stretching now into the triceps as well as into the side of the body. Whew, release, right arm, thumb up, press in. Bring that arm behind. A little lean and feel that stretch, triceps and down the side of the body. Release, take yourself down, left knee on the mat and underneath the hip, right ankle and knee lined up. Squeeze your left glute and tuck the tailbone under so you're stretching into the hip flexor by contracting that left glute. Perfect. Interlace the hands behind the head, pull the elbows back and stretch the hip flexor quad and then also get into the front of the body, such as your pecs and front shoulder. Release, let's straighten this front leg. And if you have something to help build your ground up or coffee table or chair nearby, go for it. Otherwise, hip hinge and bring your hands down to stretch into that front leg into the hamstring. And you might feel a little release in your low back as well. 
So thank you so much for joining me. If you have, well obviously you have a resistance to me, otherwise you wouldn't be on this workout. <laughs> I want you to stay to the last few seconds. I did have a quick little fit tip video, so if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll be able to click the screen, but it's uh, some series of exercises that you could sub in using your resistance tubing to any workout. So it's not a workout, it's more of a fit tip. So if that interests you, stay to the end if you're on YouTube and it'll appear on your screen. All right, let's do the other side. Here we go. So right knee under hip, left ankle and knee aligned. Lunge forward just a tad, squeeze that right glute. Perfect, interlace the hands, pull back. Release the hand, straighten that front leg, push the hips back, it's a bit of a hip hinge here to get into the hamstring on this leg. Once again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I would love to keep working with you and if you enjoyed the workout, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I would also love to know where you're working out from, so drop a comment down below. And come on up. We did it, well done. Hey, listen, if you would like to try out my new app, which has eight other amazing instructors, as well as all my YouTube workouts, ads free, you can head to over50fitness.co or click the link that's down there. I've got a 14 day free trial for you. So check out the info down in the description and yeah, we look forward to seeing you over there, maybe trying us out. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your day, bye.